Auto KDJ. Boy, what a plug-in. Uh, this is uh, for all you KJs out there who are trying this plug-in, but you have a problem because it requires you to rename all your files into this new format that's friendly for WinApp. Uh, this program, I found a shareware program that is really going to save you some time in this. Now, the standard disk format, which I'm, I've got a, a couple disks right here. I've got a Dangerous and a, and a uh, Sunfly disk. And they're in standard format. You've got the disk ID and the track number in one field, and you've got the artist and title in the other field. Uh, so it goes disk ID, artist, and the uh, title. That's, that's what they call standard format. Uh, you know, a lot of people have this format. So, but in order to use this plugin, you need to set things up a little differently. It, it needs to go uh, title, I'm sorry, the disk ID, this part like here, DG01, would be a folder. And then the file name would be track artist title. And after we're done, uh, the program's called Fold Monkey. Now I'm going to fire this up, show you how this works. Uh, by the way, I mean, all you got to do is just Google for Fold Monkey. That's F O L D M O N K E Y, and you will find this program. There's a, it's a shareware program, 20 days to try. I've already been using it for a few days, so it says, hey, this package will self disable in 13 days, blah, blah, blah. Uh, continue. Okay, so now I've got, I'm going to uncheck these for right now just so I can go through this one step at a time. Um, you'll need to set up the folder where your files are. Now those files you seen earlier were in the zzz underscore temp directory in my case. You'll need to set the file pattern to, if you're working with zip files, there'll be a star dot zip. Um, include subfolders, rename file, and this includes this, in our case we want to use this tag called text after dash dot zip. Now to start over fresh to show you how this works you can just hit delete there uh, and you hit this arrow and you scroll on down to where it says add old file name subtext. Now you probably can't see that here but Trust me, it says oh, add old file name subtext, and it says add text after hyphen or dash. That's what we want. And then you're just going to type in the dot zip, D -I -Z -I -P, and that'll set up that field for what we want the new file name to be. Uh, then just click on archive file, create folder, folder path. And as you can see, this tag is going to be text before dash. You set that up exactly the same way. Click on that. Add old file name subtext. Only this time you're going to say add text before the dash. Okay, I've already done that here. Uh, the folder in this case is the same folder as above up here. And very important, this thing always defaults to do not move or copy file, uh, which is okay if that's what you want, but in our case, we want to move the file. So just go ahead and click on the drop down, move file to the above created folder. Okay. The last step is simply to scan once only right down here. We're not monitoring every one minute. This doesn't apply to our situation. We just want to scan this puppy once and be done with it. So I click on that. It gives you a warning. There's no undo. I'm going to click proceed and boom it's done. I'll just minimize this so you can see the result. All those files have been folderized. Uh, the DGs are in the DG01s and they're named in the correct format. We got a, a track, the artist, and the title. It's looking real good for Auto KDJ now. Everything's set up for me. Now if I would have had 500 disks, this thing would have just folderized everything, renamed it all in one, one shot. I mean, it's, it's going to save you a lot of time.